everybody, it's the 13th Wolfman. You know what today is? Today is day... What is today? Today is day 16 of the 31 Days of Horror. 31 movies, 31 days, 31 reviews, 31 videos, and hopefully 31 comments. I was shooting for 31 comments on every video, but I'll just take 31 comments. Whatever. Comment today, you know. But before we get into that, about what's what I'm going to talk to you about today, I'm going to ask you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Basically, I will always want to know what you have to say. And when you like and subscribe, it helps get my stuff out there. There are other people doing this, as I say in every video. There's uh, Random Horror, Echo, Jennifer Toshi, uh, who else? There is Have Cheetah Will View. I am the Ice Lord, Double Shot J, Mood 616, and of course, as always, the one and only MSJ, Brother Max, for short. That's right, now let's get to the movie. Now, it's, this is kind of funny. Um, when I started off this month, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch Final Destination in this order. And then, like, right after that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch, you know, and... I wound up watching, like, at some point I wound up watching three Saw movies and two, or uh, three, in, uh, three uh, Conjuring movies. And it comes down to it, I'm, I'm basically doing a, a James Wan month because now I'm watching Insidious and James Wan's in this. Or not in it, but he's directed. James Wan, man, I mean, the guy's done. He's... Him and Lee Wanell created Saw, and he directed the first Saw, and then you got the Conjuring universe, and James Wan did, directed two of those, produced one, he directed this, Lee Wanell uh, wrote this, I mean, my God, this isn't something I'm trying to do, I, I'm just grabbing the movies I think are going to be fun to watch this month, and it turns out that a majority of them are James Wan and Lee Wan L films. Uh, in this movie, th this movie is kind of funny because this movie is technically a two-part movie. Um, it doesn't say, you know, two parts, because, but the funny thing is, is that if they didn't do Insidious 2, then the way this movie ends would just be like, <clears throat> you know, just kind of like a weird, weird ending. So there had to be a second part to be to make a conclusion is what I'm getting at. Um, Patrick Wilson, who we all know from the Conjuring Universe, is in this, which has Lee Wan L in it, or, or has um, James Wan directing. Lee Wan L is in Saw, and he is in the Insidious films. Everyone's making their career off these two movie these two movie franchises. Oh, and The Conjuring. But, um, Patrick Wilson and Rose Byrne are a mother and father who move into a new house, and the new house isn't haunted, but it does have a malevolent spirit there that attaches itself to their, I think it's their oldest, when you think about it. I think it's their oldest kid, Dalton. Dalton goes into a coma, and no one can figure out why he's in a coma in the first place. When they finally get hold of Lynn Shea, Lynn Shea comes into the picture with with her uh, with her two associates. You know, um, they figure out that Dalton's body is fine. It's his spirit that's too far away from its body in a in a another plane of existence, another dimension, you know, and it can't find its way back. And a demon, you know, the burn face demon, I think is what they call it, or fire face demon or something like that, um, isn't helping things. He's the one that's keeping, keeping the spirit away so that eventually he could inhabit Dalton's body. There's a lot going on in this movie. Um, it turns out that when Patrick Wilson's character was a kid, 
he had done something similar, so he, he knows how to get into the place that they refer to as the further. That's where the, that's the spiritual realm. It's a cool movie. I mean, it's a really, really cool movie. It's got a really weird ending, and so once the ending is there, you're just kind of like, oh, well, there's got to be a second film. Of course there's a second film. They, they've got out five films. I haven't seen the most recent one, The Red Door, but I've seen everything else. And I've enjoyed most of them. I do think that this and the second one are a little too long of a story. It could have been condensed some. But, eh, whatever. Insidious. From the directors, uh, uh, from the makers of Paranormal Activity, director James Wan and writer Lee Wan L. This, I love creepy, demonic type movies. And especially when you got a kid in it. The kid doesn't do anything, but creepy kids are really fun to watch. Um, this is just another uh, another well representation of the way horror should be. You know, um, you look at how they do it nowadays, and it's it's okay. There's a lot of good stuff out there, but but this and the Conjuring and you know, I mean, these movies just kind of set the standard for. If you want to freak somebody out, you want to get underneath their skin, you want to be creepy, then go by this standard. That's about all I have. I really like Insidious. You can pretty much guess from my theme what's going to be showing up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, these are just fun movies, man. And you know what? I didn't see Insidious. I didn't see any of the Insidious films for the longest time because I thought it was one of those horror for the masses type things. It's like, oh, we're, you know, I, at the time, I think I was like trying to find more underground, more, you know, not is, like I said, horror for the masses, not, not such pop stuff. And it turned out that it wasn't pop stuff. It was actually really, really good. I, I bought the, bought the first three movies. They were on sale one year and I'm just kind of, Okay, since they're on sale and they're next to nothing, I'll, I'll give them a chance, and I wound up liking them. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. That, now. So, always like, subscribe, share, and comment. I always want to know what you have to say. Check out the other people doing the 31 days. And as always, I am the 13th Wolfman, and I'm on the project. <laughs>